outside the Tuto building. As an EMS student, you attend lectures in Tuto, Chancellors and Centenary. Lectures are approximately 50 minutes long. On average, you'll have six classes per day and two or three practicals per week. Here at UP, we have state-of-the-art facilities put in place specifically to make your learning experience of a higher standard. In general, you'll have semester modules, but you can also have year modules, so don't forget to attend all your lectures. In first year, your subjects are quite broad, but as you progress in your university career, your degree becomes more specialised. The EMS faculty has some of the best lecturers in South Africa who are experts in their field and they'll always be welcoming and ready to help you. The University of Pretoria uses hybrid learning. What exactly is hybrid learning? Hybrid learning means that some content is actually discussed in class whereas the other is used on an online system like ClickUp. Oh, now I see why they call the online test we do ClickUp test. It's quite clever, I must say. That's for I choose you can. Good afternoon, goeiemiddag, dumelang. My name is Professor Natasha Holtzhausen and you are very likely to find me in a class where we discuss some kind of a wicked problem relating to public administration and management, such as something relating to ethics or corruption. Thank you for joining the Faculty of Economic and Management Sciences and welcome to today's session that focus on the School of Public Management and Administration. We'll provide you with information regarding our various programs and what we offer and also what you can get when you choose to study at the University of Pretoria. Firstly, our Dean of our Faculty, Professor Alsebi Lewitz, will be giving you our opening address and later there will be a specifically a question and answer session with our panelists that we have here with us today, Dr. Ngepotsi Madumu and Professor Michel Chioyu, who will also provide you with an overview of the program the, that the School of Public Management and Administration offers. If you are watching us today on Facebook, Make sure that you post your questions in the comments section and those streaming us on YouTube, please feel free to post any questions on the live chat section. Our social media handles will pop up frequently throughout the show so that you can follow us and, this is exciting, stand a chance to win a bookmark voucher worth a thousand rand. So make sure that you use our hashtag UPEMS to stand a chance to win that fabulous prize. So, without further ado, our Dean, Professor Lewis, with her welcoming address. Welcome to the Faculty of Economic and Management Sciences virtual event. I'm Professor Elsa B. Lewis, the Dean of the Faculty. The Faculty hosts eight departments and a school for public management and administration. We are a proud member of the internationally renowned AACSB. Continued accreditation by national and international professional and statutory bodies clearly provide evidence of the quality of our programs. All our subject areas have in recent years been included in international subject ranking lists, with the most recent one being the 2020 Shanghai Rankings Global Ranking of academic subjects, where we were in the number one spot for finance and a joint first for economics in South Africa. Allow me to highlight why you need to choose UP for your BCom or B admin studies. If service is your passion, then the SPMA is your home. The B admin studies will enable you to advocate for 
and support change in your community through innovative public sector service delivery. Choose the Faculty of Economic and Management Sciences at the University of Pretoria. Choose UP. Thank you, Professor Lutz, and I couldn't agree more with you. Choose UP and choose our faculty. We are for sure a winning faculty and we are 100 years old this year. So I'm really excited to kick off the first presentation, which is by the director of our school, Professor Margaret Chitika Mabugo. Prof. Margaret, over to you. Hello and welcome to the School of Public Management and Administration, the SPMA. We offer you an opportunity to um, further your career. We have examples of many people, some of whom will talk to you just shortly, who have completed the degree with us, either the undergraduate, the honours, the masters or the PhD, and are very highly placed and very highly valued within the organisations that they work in. My name is Una Pendu. I'm the PhD candidate at the University of Pretoria. Uh, this is where I also did my Master's in Public Administration. I'm very proud to have acquired my qualifications at the University of Pretoria. Their qualifications are very competitive at the working environment. They always encourage team building, but what is more important, they always emphasize that students must take individual responsibility for their work. With, with the lecturers at the School of Public Administration, we have an amazing pool of, of lecturers who contribute a vast amount of research in the field. I decided to study a B Admin because it allows you to work in both government and the private sector. Studying a B Admin has given me more insight than I ever imagined. It's taught me about marketing and companies, human resources and companies, international affairs, as well as governments. The School of Public Management and Administration offers a wide variety of postgraduate qualifications. Our PhD program has recently been revised and what we offer you there is more of a multi-intern, intradisciplinary approach. And what I would strongly urge you to do is, whenever you decide to enroll for a postgraduate degree in the SPMA, that you do visit our website so that you are aware of all the admission requirements as well as the application forms, what are the requirements. And we are looking forward to receiving your application. I chose UP because of the academic excellence. The professors and the lecturers of the UP is professional and they're very well known and internationally recognized as an institution of the University of Victoria. We do have another pro uh, project which is called FLY, meaning the finishing line is yours. So uh, beyond the support we give you through the six-week project, we uh, lecturers, support system and department, we do support our students so that they can complete their studies within uh, the prescribed time. So from me, the director of the school, Margaret Chitiga Mabugo, I want to warmly welcome you. We hope to see you very soon. And I would encourage you to work very hard to interact with us. Should you need anything at all, please do let us know. We are here for you and good luck. As Prof. Margaret is saying, Please do not hesitate to interact with us, even during this live session. So do not hesitate to make use of our Facebook. Make sure that you follow us on the following handle and post your comments. Uh, you could just be one of the lucky winners of one of the two bookmark vouchers, which we will hand out later during our session. And be sure to use the hashtag uh, UPEMS 
And uh, Rutendu is saying that he can't wait for 2021. And Rutendu, we cannot wait to welcome you to the University of Pretoria. And if you choose the SPMA, trust me, you will be in great hands, as you can see from the testimony from our students. So it is now also my pleasure and honor to introduce you to Professor Michel Chioyo, who will be sharing with you uh, more information on public management and international relations, one of our flagship degrees. Prof, over to you. Thank you, Prof uh, Oshazen. I would like to greet you all, our pros prospective students and the parents who are watching us through this live uh, stream um, event. As uh, presented already, my name is Michel Chioyo. I'm an associate professor in the School for Public Management and Administration, and I'm the coordinator for this uh, hashtag uh, Choose UP initiative for the School for Public Management and Administration. I joined the, uh, the University of Pretoria in 2004 when I joined, I enrolled for uh, a master in public administration, which I completed in 2006. And I joined the university as a full-time lecturer in 2008, and I've been here since then. Um, and I, I welcome you to this event, to this uh, stream live, uh, live stream event, and I will share a little bit on our pro programs, the B admin, public management, and international relations. Why should you choose the SPMA? First of all, we are located in the capital city, a few minutes away from the union buildings where our president sits uh, and works from, uh, government department and diplomatic missions as well as international organizations. In the past two decades, our school has trained many public servants who have become our change agent for national, um, provincial, and local governments. If you want to be part of the service delivery solution and advanced governance agenda, SPMA is the place for you to be. Our school is well transformed and prepared to be part of your academic journey. We have uh, qualified uh, professors, lecturers, who will be, able, who will be uh, passionate and willing to take you through uh, this uh, journey. Public administration is about the what and how of government. The what is the subject matter, the technical knowledge of a field which enables the administrator to perform his or her task. And that's what we'll be teaching you if you join our school. The how part is the technique uh, of management, the principles according to which cooperative programs are carried uh, through to success. Each of the above is indispensable, and together they form the synthesis called administration. And that's what we are passionate about. We'll be sharing with you if you join our school. Here are some of the minimum requirements. Uh, you need to have your English. And there, the scoring is uh, five. And then you also need either uh, pure maths, where uh, we need uh, only a score of three. and. Uh, mat uh, mathematical literacy, we need a score of uh, four. And for your APS, we will need you to have 28 uh, on, uh, on, uh, on that. So we do have a number of modules. And for the core modules, you will have in your first year public administration and uh, politics, uh, economics, um, uh, industrial psychology, uh, and um, public resource management. And in the second year, you will have uh, public administration uh, at 200 level. You will also have political science. And here, you will have a choice to take either political science or international relations. And at third year level, you will take political, uh, pol uh, public administration again. And then you'll take either political science or international uh, relations. Coming to the elective modules, you do have 
economics, which you can take from first year, second year to third year. And then you have an industrial and organizational psychology for, from the second year to the thir uh, third year. And then we also have constitutional law uh, statistics which uh, you can choose um, only for your first year, and administrative law, which can be taken at third year level. And then public management, we cover it uh, on our second, second year. So you'll ask, what are the opportunities for us who uh, take this program? You do have a number of possibilities. A student who graduate in public administration has a flexibility to work for uh, government, to work for the private sector, and you can also work for the non-profit organizations or international organizations. So be admin graduate can be employed in several categories, and few of them I can name is business management. You can go there to support what private sectors are, are doing. You can also work in economics, finance, and accounting. Not as economist, nor or financial specialist, or accountant, but you'll be here to give them the support, especially when it comes to rules, processes, and uh, all those. Foreign affairs and international uh, policy. You can work in an embassy. You can work for the UN, for the African Union, and many other institutions that are at an uh, international level. You can also be working in human resources. Here as a human uh, resource specialist, because part of our program, we do have modules that relate to human resources. And then legal sector, because as you'll notice, we do uh, a bit of law, but administrative law in here. You'll understand how to deal with issues relating to uh, law as well. And then you look at uh, domestic and uh, international security, and here this is where we're talking of public policy, public policy analysis, and so on. And those modules will propel you to be able to work for those organizations. And then you can also be a senior executive um, in various levels, but here you understand meritocracy will mean you start from the entry level, going uh, the ladder of uh, hierarchies within that organization. And you can also be part of the support services, those who are making things happen within uh, various institutions and at various uh, levels. More careers, uh, you can work at national, if you decide to work for a government department at national level, you might decide to go to Limpopo to support uh, uh, Limpopo government department. And you can also work for municipalities, uh, depending on where you do, or you'll want to be. You can also work for public enterprises, what we call SOEs, as an executive or in political uh, position, depending on your, your stream. So I, as I said already, you can work for uh, various sectors in business, in government, and in international organization. And here, what is important, we need more people, especially South African who can go represent our country uh, uh, at the UN level, at the AU level, at SADC level, or even many other um, organizations that are international in their nature. Embassies, consulate, and other diplomatic mission, you can apply for that. And above all, you can also work for research institutions. As I said earlier on, I did my master's in public administration, and here I am lecturing public administration at university. So you can join a university as an academic or as a scholar. You can go to CSIR as a researcher publishing on various topics and so on. And you can also work for uh, the H HSRC also doing research and contributing to the body of knowledge in the area and, and so, so on. So I would like to thank you to give us uh, this opportunity to share a bit in terms of uh, what we are offering. And we are looking forward to uh, uh, 
receiving you and we are looking forward to receiving your application. As I said when I started, SPMA is a place you, you, you need to be if you want to be a change agent in South Africa, if you want to change the face of South Africa, this is the school you need to register to. So I encourage you to register and then we are looking forward to seeing you next year when you come and start your, uh, your studies with us at the School of Public Management and Administration, Calibor, Danki, Aksante, merci, thank you to you all. <laughs> thank you, Prof. Chioyo. Indeed, the SPMI family is really looking forward to welcoming you to our university and to our school. Remember to check our social media accounts and you can even follow us on Instagram because as we know, if it's not on Insta, it did not happen. We all know that. So, ah, this is now a good time. It is our first bookmark giveaway. So, let me just see. Um, huh. We have now the first bookmark winner. And it is Ayodeji Adiniran. Congratulations to you. This is wonderful. You have just won the first bookmark prize. Congratulations. Now we move on to a Q&A session, as I mentioned earlier on. So now it's time to ask our panelists some of the questions that you have been posting to us. Uh, so, gentlemen, one would think this is an interview if I look at you. <laughs> uh, Petrus Lombard is asking, uh, how will I know that my application was successful? Uh, Dr. Madumu, would you mind answering it? Because yes, you are absolutely. also the undergraduate coordinator yes, of absolutely. the program. Thank you very yeah. much for the question, uh, Petrus. Um, the most important thing is that you should know when are the closing dates. So the closing dates for South Africans, uh, uh, prospective students are on the, at the end of September and the closing dates for non-South African students end of uh, August. So once you have applied, there will be processes that will be you know, taking place. And once the university uh, has finalized uh, the processes, you will then uh, 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 you know, uh, get uh, the communication from the university. But also, you are also encouraged to check on our um, uh, UP portal for the status of your application. Okay, thank you for that. Uh, Prof Chioyo, so you already um, started to explain public management and administration. But Nicholas van Royen also asks, again, what is public management and administration? I think there's still a lot of confusion. I think the administration part maybe confuses a lot of people. Uh, I know that there's always a misconception that people think that if you study this, that you might end up more in the secretarial part of it and, and you were quite eloquently explaining it in your presentation. Maybe you can just elaborate a little bit more on that for us. Thank you so much, Prof, uh, for the question. Uh, public administration is not to be confused with uh, bookkeeping or to be trained to be a public uh, personal assistant or secret uh, secretarial uh, duties. Uh, public administration is more than that. As you see with the careers that I just um, presented, we train people who will be, or cadres if I can say, cadres who will be contributing to the activities and operation of governance, government. And here, to give a brief of um, understanding, when politicians make uh, laws, policies, when you see what is happening in parliament, when policies have been adopted, public administrators that we are training is now to implement, to do what the government said they will do. So that is uh, people, uh, cadres we are training, we train them to do what government said they will do. That can be planning, organizing, until the a physical service is delivered. So 
That is the training we are, we are giving. And it has nothing to do with bookkeeping, to be a personal assistant. And here we are training you to be decision makers and to be the change, of, uh, change agent, those who are making things happen in our country, on the continent, and in the world. That's what I can answer as a question. Thank you. So, so a manager, you know, the a planner, an organizer, leader, controller. Thank you, Prof. Siamo uh, Muketsi is asking us, what type of actual jobs can I do with this qualification? So I think, so in terms of this, so I think again the administration part. So uh, Dr. Madumu, Ogobozi. So, so um, Siamo. Um, you can become a parliamentary researcher. These are the people that would um, get to research on you know, current matters and advise politicians on specific legislations, uh, specific legislation uh, that uh, you know, politicians would want to, to make. Um, you can also become a monitoring and evaluation specialist. Um, you can uh, work as a project coordinator uh, for both private and public uh, uh, organizations. Um, you can, you can, it's, you know, with a de de uh, degree in public management and international relations, it does not restrict you. It gives you a diverse of, you know, um, um, uh, careers that you can, you know, widely choose from. So you can work for the UN as a, as a, as a, as a coordinator of a specific program and so on. Okay, thank you for that. We're going to take one more question. And that question is, let me just have a look at that. Um, the question is, how do I know? Uh, so Anonymous is asking, where how is my progression through the degree to a postgraduate degree possible? Okay, uh, maybe, maybe I could take that one. Um, so Anonymous, um, so you will need to first register for a three-year B-admin degree. And um, once you are done with your three-year uh, um, undergrad degree, make sure that you obtain uh, you know, good grades so that you can be admitted into an honors program. Once you get into an honors program, also maintain the consistency in, in terms of your, your, your good, maintaining good grades. And then you get into your master's uh, if you'd like, and uh, ultimately you can even get into a PhD program in public administration. Great stuff. Panel members, thank you for your valuable insight. And um, before we end um, our last session, it's time to announce now the second winner of um, the Bookmark Prize. And our winner, and I'm really happy to say this, is Rutendu Matse, who also said that he is really excited to be joining us. And um, we hope that you will spend it wisely on one of our prescribed books next year. So. Thank you for watching today's session. We hope that it has been as an informative session as it was to us. And we hope that you are excited to join us next year at the School of Public Management and Administration. Please be sure to stay updated um, on any further information on our social media platforms. And always remember to choose UP. And we look forward to seeing you on campus next year. Thank you.